the music of saints and an ancient tradition in Pakistan. This Sufi shrine was attacked by militants in 2005. But devotees still come here to listen to the trance-like sounds of the mystical Islamic form. There is something in Kavali which attracts everybody, attracts someone, attracts your inner, attracts your soul to be listened. Two years ago, Pakistan's top Kawal star, Amjad Sabri, was gunned down in Karachi. Since then, his brother has taken up his mantle. For us, it is a very difficult situation now. The things happening around us have gotten worse. Some people, whom I would call hostile elements, have come among us. It is beyond our understanding as to why they have been killing us. The risk of extremist attacks has dampened performances at Sufi shrines. The genre is reaching out to Pakistan's younger generation, but faces competition from other popular music. And some say that Kawali's historical ties to faith are also changing. People are like not that much aware of Kawali. It's like now the youth, the new generation, they're towards music. They don't know what exactly the Kawali is. They know, don't know the pure definition of Kawali. Kawali has thrived since the 13th century in South Asia, a tradition that these musicians and followers are determined will not change. <laughs>